Hi everyone and welcome back to another exciting video for Flexi LEHRMS. I am Nancy, your host and today we are diving into powerful feature that's designed to make financial processes smoother and more efficient, the expense management system. But before we begin, make sure to check all our previous videos, the link is in the description box below, for a complete understanding of HRMS features. Now let's get started. In the expense card, the employee will be provided with two features, the expense reports and expense items. In the expense report, employee can track and add new report for their expenses in the pending reports of the expense section. While tracking, they can also have the option to edit the report. However, during editing, only the report name, from date and to date can be modified, while the report status code and base currency remains unchanged. While editing, employees can view a summary of their expense report by clicking on the view summary. This allows them to check their details, the start and the end dates of the expense and the expense description. After reviewing the summary, they can submit the report directly and the status in the top right corner will be changed to pending with manager. We also provide a rollback expense option where employees must provide a mandatory reason for rolling back the expense. To add a new report, employees must follow the steps used during the report editing, so like to add the report name, from date and to date, business purpose, and save. In the pending report section, employees can find details such as the name of the report, status, pending approval information from and to date, claimed amount and the number of items. They can also check the details of the submitted report. It is important to note that until the entire report submission process is completed, it will remain in drafted status and will not be displayed on the approver's dashboard. The closed reports section allows employees to check their closed expense reports. If required, they can also have the option to delete a report. Moving forward, the expense item is a part of the expense report. You can directly add an expense item based on the report you have created by clicking on the add expense item. Alternatively, you can click on the expense item where your data will be displayed, including the expense item, date incurred, currency, claimed amount, report, status, and actions. The status section is used to track the process, progress of the expense process, while the action sections allow you to click the claim expense. Now let's move on to the expense approvers roles and how Flexially simplifies the expense approval process. Once an employee submits their expense report, the approvers can view all the relevant details including the employee's name, legal entity, report name, claim date, from and to dates, last approval date, claimed amount, last approved amount, status, and actions. Through the action section, the approver can easily review and make any necessary updates streamlining the entire process with efficiency and ease. And that's how expenses can be efficiently managed using the Flexily Expense module. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.